Replacing your air filter is pretty easy if you follow these rules. Turn your system off before replacing the filter. It makes it much harder to install a replacement when the system is pulling air into the opening. This can be done at the thermostat or at the unit itself. The arrow always points towards the unit or into the return. The purpose is to clean the air before it gets to the HVAC unit, not on its way back into the rooms. Make sure the filter is the correct size. It should always fit snugly into its location. If you have to force it or bend it, then something is wrong. I'd like to point something out. In the current image, the air filter on the right is brand new. Notice the color as well as how straight it looks. The air filter on the left, however, was so dirty the HVAC unit started pulling it into the air handler, causing it to bend. If you see this, it is definitely time to change the filter. Checking your air filters more often is okay. It is better to check or replace a filter more often than less. Your system cannot condition the air in your home unless it gets ample airflow through it. Know all the locations of your filters. Some homes have more than one air filter due to their layout or the number of zones. All locations need to be checked on a regular basis. When complete, don't forget to turn the system back on. This is sometimes overlooked when performing this maintenance. To help you change your filter, here are a couple different examples. Remember that you should never need tools to remove an air filter grill or cover. If you're not sure, please contact the customer care department. Before we begin, we'd like to point out that air filter covers may vary depending on system configuration and type of home. Yours might look different. Also, don't forget to turn the unit off before you follow these steps. Remove the clamps holding on the air filter cover. There is a metal track on the top and bottom of the opening. This is where the air filter will slide into. Be careful because it could be sharp. The next thing I'd like to point out is the direction that the air filter should be inserted. Notice there's an arrow. The arrow should always point towards the unit when placing it inside the holder. Using the top and bottom tracks as a guide, slide the filter all the way into the opening. If you happen to have a media filter, you will follow the same steps. However, the opening will be slightly larger. Also, because it's a larger filter, your frequency for changing your air filter will be different. You can complete the process by reinstalling the cover and turning the unit back on. Congratulations. Before you begin, make sure you turn the system off. When ready, move the clips into the open position and remove the cover. Locate the directional arrow on the new air filter. When placing it into the return, make sure that it points into the return and not into the room. The new filter might be a little tight, but take your time and ensure that it fits correctly inside the return. Once done, close the grill and put the clips in the closed position. You're now finished. You can give a slight tug, but be careful. Make sure you check or replace all air returns in your home. Also, don't forget to turn your system back on when you're all finished. Thank you. Before you begin, don't forget to turn off your HVAC system. Also, most grill covers have hinges, but they can come off, so be careful. Start by sliding the clips off to the side and slowly lowering the cover down. Next, remove the old filter. You might notice a little bit of fine dust. This is normal. Take the new air filter and place it into the return. Ensure that the arrow is pointing into the return when you insert it. Sometimes the air filter might be a little snug, so take your time, but ensure that it's completely flush. Once installed, close the grill cover and slide the clips into the closed position. You're finished.